writing your variables. This can be done in a list. So the first variable under your hypotheses, this would go, would be your independent variable. As we know, the independent variable is the one that you as the experimenter chooses to change. dependent one is the one that you measure not the measuring device but the unit the uh, SI unit as well what are you actually going to measure then you have one of the most important things in all experiments which are your controls You can have also a control group. So if you are changing something, if you're changing something and you go, well, what if I didn't change it? Will that also change or not? If that's something that is a possibility, you might have a control group where you don't change anything and see if it just by chance or by the process and the methodology that you're using, it will also change. So that might be an idea, but the controls and the controlled variable, controlled variables, are the things and the majority of the um, uh, components within your method that needs to stay the same. very important for us to figure out if your independent variable was really the one that had the purpose, has the reasoning to make that change in your dependent variable. We have to be so sure that that's the case. That definitely changed that or that definitely didn't change that. The only way we can make sure of that is to make sure everything else stays the exact same. If you're doing anything that varies throughout your experiment that isn't those two things, then it's an invalid experiment. So we need to make sure that everything else is controlled. Now some things are out of our control. Now that's a concern and we need to allow for that and that would be uh, either a change in methodology in the way that we do it or if it's very difficult to control it, let's say genetics in gene experimentation, it's so hard to control the multiple factors that might influence it. They try their best, but then just indicate that in their discussion if there were a few possible control issues in that experiment. Not with you as the experimenter, but with the possibility of something not uh, staying the same throughout the entire experiment. So that's probably the most, and you'll probably at least have three to four controls indicating what you kept the same uh, in your experiment. Here, it'll be just one and two. There, and then many for this one. See if you can have a control group. It works for some experiments, but not others.